Okay, guys. Um, today we're going to look at how to create a PR, which is also known as the 3161 that we normally know. So we're trying to create a PR for a lateral transfer on GCSS. How to move? But before you actually create a PR, you need to move um the item from whichever S log that it is on onto the commander's hand receipt because the commander's hand receipt is a transactional um S log that PBO is going to actually move that property from your book. So you need to actually move the property that you want to do the lateral transfer for onto the command and receipt. Another thing that you need to put in mind before you create you create your PR or 3161 is to make sure the directive that you got from DST or from your S4, right? You actually read everything because it has a lot of information on it. You have to read it read it in thoroughly like into detail you have your gaining unit the one you're trying to do the lateral transfer with um their contact uh everything that you need to know whether the item is supposed to be to a to a 1020 standard whether it has to if even if you're going to ship it how to get your tackle code for ship tackle funding for shipping everything needs to be um everything is on the uh, directives also it will tell you the, the document that you need sometimes it will ask for um, 5990s that's your maintenance uh, worksheet uh, the 5988 technical inspection and uh, service tag whether the item is going to go or is on the rest status so all this needs to be done you need to have all your paper before you get into GCSS to create your uh, PR so let's start with a video on how to create a PR. So this is something that every supply, if you're not new or if you GCSS, you know, you, you put in your Zeus menu there, then you actually hit it. Enter. So we are actually doing it this because I already explained. We assume we already have our item on the um, command SS log. So you choose the lateral transfer. You hit create PR request. You put in your command SS log. Always remember, before you start, move the item onto your command SS log. And don't forget the serial number. The serial number is very important for the item that you are going to move. So here you actually, don't forget to push your quantity to suspend. If you don't do it, the system will remind you to do it. And one good thing about GCS is it always reminds us if we make a mistake. And I'm going to make a mistake right here. It just reminded me, select at least one record to process and I have to select the process uh, the record then create your PR then you enter the gaining unit UIC which you can find on your uh, directive you can get your directive from DST or if you don't know how to get it you can talk to your S4 your S4 is going to teach you how to get it and you hit the check mark so since it's within the GCSS M2 you select the, the first one is already selected so here you check your serial number then you hit save one good one thing that you need to remember is to write down your pr that is the purchasing request number write it down because i'm going to show you where you're going to put it then you, you hit the print lateral transfer so the pr needs to be on the lateral transfer sheet that the PR number needs to be on the lateral transfer sheet another thing that you need to put there is the first line you're going to put your PSD ID I'm going to type it in for you to know the PSD ID can be found on the directive so you find your PS, PSD ID then you put it there then you push your um, PR then you put your name date rank and you sign so when you are done with this then you can push it up to your um, PBO to get your document number. 
so that you can do the lateral transfer. Some people go through their S4 to send it to the PR, uh, to the PBO to get their document number. So you can save, you can send an email if you want to. Or you can print it, print it out. Then, so you can go back. Then, I guess, then after that, you, you hit the green check mark. You go back, you hit the green check mark. You are not done until you hit the green check mark. So, then you can see it's right there. Mark status is checked and PR created, PR request created. Then it tells you everything is done. So basically, this is how you create a PR. But as I said, always remember to get all your documents right before you go into the system to create your PR. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.